Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and once again I have with me the 2024 G-Tour X70 Journey. This is the base model of the X70 lineup here in the Philippines and I would like to thank G-Tour Quezon Avenue and to all of the sales executives involved in this video. Contact details will be in the description down below. I literally just test drove the all-new G-Tour T2. It's one of the best G-Tour vehicles I tried out. So why am I having this car again on my channel having just done the walk around tour? I am finally going to die this base model so i wanted to see if you want to get the x70 plus even though i have not driven that yet but i would like to compare this a lot with the x70 sport because that's more of the complete car and of course you all know me i love base models and to see if this is still worth it well the design overall is pretty much the same you get halogen lights all around this time same uh, chrome grille and on the side profile and as proven this is the base model there's uh, X70 journey decals, repeaters here on the side mirrors. I think these are functioning roof rails too, like that of the uh, higher models. And this is the key difference now too. These are much smaller uh, wheels. These are running on 18 inches compared to that of the 20s of the sport. So this is why I wanted to drive this to see if there's uh, an effect on the ride itself. So pairing this thing, well, it's still pretty much the same. But again, I will show you. So like with every X70 except the uh, Plus model, which has the dashing engine, this is still a 1.5 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. This is not the dashing engine which you can get in the X70 Plus model and that one is weighted to a 7 speed wet type dual clutch transmission. This one is an 8 speed automatic transmission. So I want to see again on how this performs now since this has smaller wheels and tires. Here now at the rear of the X70 journey, well, exactly the same all the way up to the sport model. And I just remember now, if you go near to the base model next to this, the X70 travel, it has a completely different front fascia. And I know all of the X70 models have manual tailgates and specialty for all of the X70 models. This is a seven seater. So of course, this is the space with the seats up, I think around at 80 liters only, and it increased all the way down if you fold the third row and up to the second uh, row itself. And cup holders, cubby spaces on either side. It's a bit heavy to the tailgate as I mentioned in my first time I've encountered this vehicle. So this is the interior once again of the X70 Journey now with a manual uh, key fob. Now this has an analog tachometer and speedometer with a monochromatic display right in the middle. If it was the higher models like that, the Sport, it's uh, completely digital. And here in the door cards, again, all plastic, but hilariously, they left all of the uh, leather soft pads all around here. But sadly, not for the seats, but I do love the Sport bucket e styles. All now fabrics with a nice red diamond patterns on it with a lot of bolstering, uh, surprisingly. Here on the left side, you get all of your light controls and your electronic stability control button along with the smaller cubby space. No wonder it was so hot. Uh, for this infotainment system, there's not much you can do to be honest. Uh, but I've been told, uh, like before, you can install Carbit Mirror Link to the dealer and this has a reverse camera. But surprisingly, this has dynamic guidelines for a base model, which is, I mean, pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it here, the infotainment system. Steering wheel. Okay, like with that the sport, but it's now polyurethane with just few buttons here and there. A center console, yeah, it's all gloss black. You can see it's a bit dirty. Here's for your sport and winter modes. And still, uh, despite again being a base model, you get uh, electronic parking brake and your auto hold functions. And there's food inside <laughs> for this glove box. Nice cubby space over here. And I don't see any USB ports at all. And you get uh, another cubby space here, which I expected it to be but i find it weird your 12 volt sockets just right here on the floor but there's only one usb port as you can see with this cord here in the center console box it can't even fit my uh big tumbler but at least if you have uh, other bottles and cups you can fit them here right in the middle yeah um this is all plastic now i remember the higher models are more on the squeegee side of things and the second row yeah pretty decent amount of space so remember if you want me uh, doing all the cutting thing stuff uh, check out my first walk around review but what i would like to show you now is when we go for a drive finally diving the journey x70 base model 
I mean, I see no difference. Apart, I don't recall having the steering feel uh, being really, really light and look somewhat uh, responsive uh, in a way. And I can tell immediately the difference between the ride. The X70 Sport done with 20-inch wheels is still comfortable, but this one's just a tad more comfortable having what smaller wheels, as I mentioned, since these are running now on 18 inches. And the performance, I think it's just a bit better since you're not carrying much of the, the tech and all that, comparing only with the X70 Sport and uh, Plus models, mind you. And the 8-speed automatic transmission, first to second gear is just a little bit clunky, but I mean, I, I got used to it already knowing how uh, it performed back in the day. I think, I'm not sure if there was even a, an update of this with the transmission. I remember I just left it in automatic mode. There's a manual mode and remember there's sport mode too uh, available. Driving here around in the city, yeah, it's pretty agile. And again, given the advantage of very light, what? Uh, steering fields this would be an ideal first time car for many out there i've not seen the fuel economy uh reading it but this is the range of 296 kilometers which i would say is pretty decent so maybe when i drive a bit more it will pop out all of a sudden and if you suddenly mash the throttle yeah, i mean gets up to speed pretty quickly and here over hum yeah just soaks up the bumps just a little bit better than that of the higher models a bit weird now having seen top of the line models um anyway visibility all around too is uh really good and here's sport mode now a bit delayed but you get up to speed pretty quickly so the clunkiness only happens when you're up up to speed already it's high gear and then it has suddenly to change down once again well i will tie it now here and then if you suddenly mash it it's not so bad now compared to the first time I've encountered it with the uh, X70 Sport. So again, this transmission is not the fastest out there. However, it still at least it gets the uh, the job done. So maybe as, as well, I, would, I just left it in Sport mode. That's why maybe it helped out just a little bit and here. Yeah, it's just a, a bit slow to react. But if you're not gonna make this act like a race car anyway. Yeah, I mean, it, this will be an ideal daily. So as well for the cost of all of this, remember this is much, much cheaper than that of the rest of the X70 models. If not mistaken, this is around like 1.2 million pesos. So I'll just put the exact price here on screen. So it's up to you preference if you want the whatever X70 model you want. And I would say for once, I would recommend any of them, even though I have not given the X70 Plus model, that's the one I would like to drive. Jetoro to Philippines, please. <laughs> I would love to drive that soon. And now I can give a fuel economy reading with this uh, X70 journey. Oh, pretty impressive. So in this short stints around here in uh, Quezon Avenue, 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Despite not the uh, having the sporty nature of the 8-speed automatic transmission, but it can give a uh, decent fuel economy numbers. So one more time. Right. Yeah, pretty sharp diving as well overall with all of the X70 models. So I think if not mistaken, the X70 Plus might be a little bit more aggressive since that's a dual clutch with the uh, dashing engine. That concludes my review of this X70 Journey Base model. Again, I would like to thank everyone here at Jetur Quezon Avenue and to all of the sales executives involved in this video. So again, all of their contact details will be in the description down below. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more future Jetur reviews. And hopefully more blendouts again soon. Bye-bye.